Hey guys, this is my review of the Black CNA ROM for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. So the code name of this ROM is Darkness, and this is the version 1.2. So again, uh, this is the Android 4.1.1. That's the Jelly Bean. Okay, there you go. Guys, though, though it's based on the Android 4.1.1, you don't have the face unlock, the signature unlock, the pop-up player and the screenshots i mean the s pen functions doesn't work and uh but then again you know uh if you want to take the screenshot and just hold the down volume power and the home home button at the same time that you'll end up taking a screenshot so again uh so let me just quickly show you what you get with this rom right from the lock screen you have the crt off animation it's really fast and this jelly bean uh, lock screen and it's themed you know the blue color uh, you have this uh, battery percentage displayed right there and so just unlocking the phone and by default you don't have these toggles uh, i'll show you how to add on these to toggles so the rom is really really fast everything works uh, all the functions that you get with this rom all the app that you get with the rom works perfect no issues with any of the functionalities uh, no force closes no lags the rom is really light uh, you just get these basic apps pre-installed with this ROM, like some Google apps like the Gmail, Google, uh, etc. Uh, you don't have any other extra apps. You need a file manager to explore your external SD. So as you don't have too many pre-installed apps, you know you just have the basic apps. So uh, the ROM is really fast, and you know you can make this ROM. I mean, you can make your ROM your way completely. Uh, you can download apps that you want. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Again, you have these soft keys right there, and the back button, the home button, and the recent app history. I mean, the recently opened apps. You tap it, and again, the swiping features works perfect. No issues there. And then again, you have this new cool dialer. It's new. I mean, uh, in other Jelly Bean ROMs or any other AOKP ROMs, you have the same dialer, the blue color theme dialer. But here, you have com you have a completely different dialer as well. Again, you have this Jelly Bean keyboard. Let me just quickly show you. Okay, new. Okay, that's the new Jelly Bean. Uh, mess I mean, okay, so that's the new Jelly Bean keyboard. And you know the sounds. Let me just. Uh, it's uh, kind of you know vintage as you're typing on a typewriter. I hope you can hear it. Yep, that's cool. Again, um, the camera works perfect. Uh, it can shoot videos as at 1080p let me just show you okay right there oh, 1080p and it works perfect uh, and uh, by default you know you get this uh, apex launcher the apex settings right there yeah you can customize your launcher again uh, the google now works perfect uh, you have this google now uh, right now my internet connection is really slow so you know who is Bill Gates? Okay, that's that's the so that's pretty much it. So you know, uh, guys, as uh, you don't have too many pre-installed apps or too many pre-installed features, so the ROM is really really fast. You can see it there, it's really fast. No issues, no lags. I've been using this ROM since the last two days and a half, and it's it's perfect. All the features works. Just the thing is that you know you don't get the S memo, the S note, and the S pen functions. But then again, um, as you don't have the official Jelly Bean, so just to experience the Jelly Bean, you can just go ahead and try this ROM. So again, uh, what you what one thing I like to say is guys, you can customize this ROM. You know I was telling you that you don't have the toggles right by default, and uh, uh, you know this battery dis display on your lock screen i mean the battery percentage displaying on your lock screen so how to do that is just go to menu and go to uh, system settings and there you can see this uh, rom tab and under interface you know you can do a lot of customizations over here if you say if you tap if you go to general okay you have this uh enable kill all button so i am a switcher enable alarm icon etc again uh, if you go to power menu so you can uh, customize you know what options uh, do you want if you long press the power button so you can do it from here again from the status bar okay right there 
uh, you can change the battery icon style you know you can see right now I have this circle kind of battery icon say I want the text only okay right there you can see it again battery icon style now I want um, icon with center text okay you can see there again so again uh, I want the circle mode uh, I love that so you can uh, change the battery bar location as well uh, top of the bottom of the nav navigation bar top of the navigation bar uh, charging animation you can enable it and clock style clock color am pm etc you get a lot of options over here so you can just go ahead and customize it you can also change the wi-fi signal color the wi-fi signal textile etc again uh, for the notification toggles just go to notification toggles and tap enable toggles and select the toggles you like to add on to your notification so you can just directly control your important toggles from your navigation bar as well uh, so again for the lock screen uh, you can you know you can do a lot of customizations over here so just uh, so just go ahead and check it out guys uh, uh, this is the thing you know that makes this ROM again highly customizable you can do a lot of customizations over here and other things uh, it remains the same uh, so again for the battery life you know the battery life is really decent uh, you get around 15 hours for heavy users and 25 plus hours for moderate uses that's pretty decent so guys that's pretty much it you know as i've already mentioned that you know the rom is really fast really responsive no lags no force closes uh, and by default you don't get too many pre-installed apps so the rom is really light just 125 mb as you don't have the official jelly bean firmware release so just uh just to taste the jelly bean you know you can just simply install this rom and just uh for a change you know you can try this rom out so that's pretty much it guys uh, that's all about my review thanks a lot for watching so if you have any questions leave it in the comment section all my contact details are in the description so that's it guys uh bye bye now and have a good day